Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an LED chaser circuit. It's gonna be an interesting project, so without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect CD4049IC and connect its pin number 8 to ground and its pin number 15 and 16 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the IC and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 2 of the IC and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 10 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 4 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 5 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 6 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 7 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 14 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 13 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 12 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 11 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect 4 LEDs in series and connect the anode of first LED to remaining pin of 100 ohm resistor and the cathode of last LED to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 555 timer IC and connect its pin number 1 to ground and its pin number 4 and 8 to positive supply and its pin number 6 and 2 together. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin 
to pin number 3 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to pin number 1 and 3 of CD4049 IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2.2 microfarad capacitor and connect its negative pin to ground and its positive pin to pin number 2 of the 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k trim pot and connect its center and one side pin to pin number 6 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's test the project. The LEDs should be placed like this. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Oh.